Now this, I don't know if you can make any sense of it, this is the schematic for the uh, for the relay circuits. In the lower half there's the circuits that um, do the function switching and in the other half there's the audio switching circuits. This relay here is the um, this relay here is for selecting either phono or auxiliary input and the coil is connected to this coil here. So the two coils are connected together. This relay also switches these two LEDs on or off depending on which input is selected. There is another relay here for switching for cutting the power to those two LEDs when it's in tape dubbing mode. This relay is wired so that when it's when this switch is pushed here, it will come on and stay on. And there's a push to brake switch here, which um, when it's pushed, it cuts the current and uh, resets it. These two relays here are for the tape monitor 1 and tape monitor 2. You can also see that there's two push buttons to activate the corresponding relay. And there's another switch there to take it out of tape monitoring mode, which is again a push to brake switch which simply cuts the current and resets them. Now these relays are wired up so that when you when you turn one of them on with, with the button it'll turn on and stay on but if one of the relays is already on and you press the button to turn the other relay on it will turn that relay off so they're never both on at the same time. Now this relay here determines whether the amplifier gets the input from either these or the tapes and the coil is connected to the coils on these two relays here via these two diodes and that's so when you put it in tape monitoring mode it doesn't turn on all three relays at once and this relay here selects which tape deck it should monitor from and it is the coil on that is connected to the coil on this relay here sorry for my terrible camera work here I forget to look through, through I, I keep forgetting to look through the viewfinder and I'm pointing at something and not, and I suddenly realise the camera's not actually looking at it but anyway here is the relays that select the tape dubbing and you can see it's pretty much the same circuit in fact it is the same type of circuit except now this coil here on this relay is connected to this coil on this relay here via this diode and the coil on this relay is connected to the coil on this relay via this diode. Without the diodes, if you just put this into ordinary tape monitoring mode, it would turn on these as well, and it would just not work properly. Also, these um, the coils on these two relays are also connected up to the coil on this one, again by a couple of diodes. Now up here, this relay selects whether the um, tape decks should get the input from either these or the tape decks I know that doesn't make much sense what I just said just then again there's a couple of diodes that connect the coil to the coils on these relays here and obviously the diodes are so they don't um, it doesn't turn on the relays that it's not supposed to turn on and finally over here there's this relay that has the coil connected to the coil on this relay here and that selects whether the tape deck should get the input from whichever tape deck 